okay thanks so uh when you are speaking about computational genomics there is another term which comes into existence that is something called as genomic data sciences yeah so the question is is both of them same or or are they different so uh, speaking like data is the new oil of today's time and data science is the new buzzword so in today's time so everyone in today's time is more inclined toward data science so uh, i would say that genomic data science and computational biology they go in hand in hand but what genomic data science involve is like it is more inclined towards information technology like development of several algorithms and uh, you can say that the genomic data science is basically the new name assigned to the older approach of computational biology so speaking more about genomic data science it's an applied stat uh, it is a field that uses statistics as i mentioned for computational biology as well and uh, data science approaches to the genome level data uh, biological data so coming up with statistical approaches and computational tools to analyze the diversified genomic data is a part of uh, data science uh, genomic data science and processing it storing it and applying it to algorithms is the challenge what people uh, people are trying to tackle in genomic data science so basically talking about more about genomic data science so it involves so data science has several methodologies like data extraction data preprocessing data cleaning analyzing and visualizing so in genomic data science you focus more on the practical technical aspects of how you deal with the data because the data what is getting generated from the sequencing machine is really in huge amount and we term that as big data so big data platforms we have several big data platforms like hadoop we have apache we have uh, several at hpcc and uh, basically it involves how we make the most uh, most use of the data of the biological data so in genomic data science we more focus on python language like it is the must to have the language uh, must uh, after that we also have uh, several data analysis and uh, visualization language such as r and the power of bash scripting also remains the same after the uh, advent uh, of various new technology but the power what bash scripting has it is really amazing in today's time as well and moreover like data science techniques and our classification and regression algorithms of our uh, ml and ai also help in genomic data science and apart from that uh, yeah i would say that uh, mm, yeah moreover talking in technical terms like how would you process the data analyze it and interpret so we have different tools for it we have different packages in r for it like to name a few in uh, packages of r programming we can say a bioconductor is one of the most important package after that we have gg tree gg plots so the all are about data visualization and finally comes the cloud computing which is really an important thing in today's world like everyone is moving from uh, their uh, hardware solutions to cloud platform to uh, to basically uh, make their process efficient like to have uh, more uh, more efficiency in dealing with the data analyzing it preprocessing it and now nowadays researchers are more into like cloud computing and the development of tools which uh, which make data uploading data analyzing and data interpretation on the cloud is more preferred in today's time so cloud computing is also playing an important role in genomic data science Okay. Uh, so one thing i wanted to ask you is that uh, you said something about um, uh, development of the uh, uh, development of statistics a use of statistics and algorithms in that so my question is when it comes to genomic data sciences are you using uh, the statistics and the algorithms or are you developing the statistics and algorithms in that? uh yes so to answer your question like uh, i also spoke about that uh, the invention of novel algorithms and tools so there are two aspect if uh, it depends totally upon the problem statement what we are trying to solve so if our problem statement is basically uh, can be fulfilled with the pre existing tools and algorithms of statistics then it's fine but uh, most of the times we have to develop our own tools pipelines and algorithms to fulfill the demand of the analysis 
so in that place we basically rely on the foundations of statistic but we go on building upon our different um, algorithms or maybe you can call approaches to tackle the problems okay okay so now again comes the similar question which was there in computational uh, genomics what is the scope of genomic data sciences uh i would say the scope for genomic data science and computational biology go hand in hand but like if you are more interested in information technology and more toward inclined toward computers and data science the word really fascinates you then uh it's really a good uh, it's uh, it has a really good scope basically you can apply all the uh, techniques what you have learned in data science and uh, the machine learning algorithms for various uh, pattern recognition you can apply so basically to in a nutshell i would say that um, both go hand in hand then there are more uh, opportunities for both but as i mentioned that genomic data science is more inclined toward the it part so there you have to deal with more core it foundational skills of uh, computer science so there are basically more uh, industries we can say Uh, which are associated with computer, uh, which go off, like work on the genomic data sciences part and the computer mm -hmm. part. Uh, yeah. So uh, mostly, uh, it happens that now, now, now in nowadays, the more trend is toward healthcare, and after this pandemic, like everyone wants to focus on enhancing their business. So, and IT has been always favoring to business. So everyone wants to have advanced technologies and. to apply the thero theoretical knowledge of biology and make the most of make the most out of it so i would say that uh, yeah the people who are more inclined towards it yeah they have a good scope and yeah it it's uh, it's like beginning of era for elucidating various biological information using computational techniques so thank you thank you for coming uh, sir hi everyone hope you like the video do not forget to like and share comment on the video below about how you liked it click on the bell icon to get the daily notifications if you want to connect with me you can follow me on uh, instagram my insta handle is at the sanket bapat i'll be back with more videos till then happy simulating